Hello everyone, uh, this is another G1 Transformers review and following on from my Megatron review I thought I would do his Unicron inspired uh, replacement mode shall we say, Galvatron from the G1 movie cartoon um, as you can see I've got him in robot mode first so I thought I'd give you an overview of the figure and it's the best mode to demonstrate his different modes and start with his figure mode in his robot form as you can see he's got his fusion cannon attached to his arm that just clips on and off with just a clip on section at the bottom there I'll take that off in a minute just to show you his range of movement he can move quite well, he's got swing out shoulder 360 degree turning on that his forearm can bend both ways and swing in and out as well and unusually for a G1, he's quite articulated. But, but even in his legs, they do move backwards and forwards to a small degree. But he does actually have knee articulation, which is quite nice. Though still not as poseable as a modern figure, it does give him a little bit more versatility in his movement. And one bonus, which <laughs> you don't need a torch to do, he does actually come with his own built in light piping um, because inside this compartment here is a 9 volt battery that you put inside there and you either, in his alt mode, he's got a trigger obviously because he's gun mode and, but in his robot mode if you press the button there, on, unfortunately on his groin he makes the noise and he's eyes light up which is supposed to be I suppose where he's supposed to be a bit unhinged uh, in the comics and in the uh, cartoons he also came with a black blaster rifle which I mean again doesn't really show up a bit like Megatron's one doesn't really show up in his uh, cartoon appearance or even the um, comics I don't remember apart from in the movie where Megatron happens to come across a pistol and shoot Prime I don't think he's ever used anything other than his Mauve Axe uh, not his Axe, sorry, he had a Mauve ball and chain didn't he? Um, anyway, oh, that's getting away from the point of this uh, review uh, as you can see he's quite nicely sticker detailed all the way around or swinging around, they're quite nice reflective stickers most of them are more onto the front and obviously you get a bit of back kibble there which is his pistol grip effectively because he's one of his modes is a I suppose you'd have to class it a ray gun Cybertronian gun uh, I shall transform him first into that mode so first of all you have to swing his arms in so that is getting that right, that's it, so it goes in on an angle like that and swing that up and around as you can see like tank treads and again swing that in swing that up and that clips in on a little post now push his legs together fold his feet in and push the feet shut uh, the legs, sorry, up and shut and then swing his arms behind him swing the pistol grip round and then you let's try and get this right I believe you slide that forward, that's it and that purple bit clips into place on his waist and that by effectively moving up his chest it covers his face and I believe we have to flip him around so I've got his arms in the wrong way, the wrong way. So it should be that way up and then you detach the barrel from his fusion cannon or photon cannon whichever way around it is and push that into the end of his head and that is again what you would have seen in the 
G1 movie car 2, which is his main alt mode, which is a Cybertronian cannon. And again, you can either use the trigger on there or the button on the back. And his barrel lights up and makes a, he makes a noise. I should also point out there is a switch at the back here. And he's got three different sounds he makes. Um, that's probably his most famous alt mode because that's what he's, he shows up in in the cartoons. But for his more sort of gun mode for kids to play with, you detach the tank tricks, fold gun up, bring that up like that, I believe. That's it. And do the same the other side. And swing that down, and that's it. So you've got a blaster like that. And again, like so, you can pull the trigger there, and he makes these noises. And that not the greatest alt mode, not the greatest pistol sort of version, but you know, not bad. I mean, it's for kids to play with. Um, and that's about it for his transformations. He's quite basic in that way, but he's all right. He's quite good. He's uh, got a few different applications there what a lot of G1s didn't have and certainly more um, articulation than the uh, with all these ratchet, lovely ratcheting sound if uh, SMS number one's watching this I expect he's enjoying himself greatly um, I know Dave does like his uh, ratchet in the transformer sounds I actually prefer to when he's doing his cannon mode, although this piece is supposed to be on top, I actually prefer to have it that way up because I think you can see more details. It's a little bit subjective because, as I said before, it should really be that way. But then it's quite bland on the top. Now, one thing I would point out with him, even though obviously I'm usually pretty good when I was playing with my toys when I was younger and that, he does suffer with chrome wear and as you can see you get a little bit of black showing through on the chrome there and on the chrome on his knees. Now I was never heavy handy playing with him so that I would say is quite a delicate point to watch out for if you ever get him one. Um, that's all the accessories he came with obviously he had his instruction manual and obviously a text spec decoder was the standard thing that came in as well. And he just had the Triptycon Metroplex artwork on the back of the box. But uh, quite a nice chunky box with a pile of styrene inserts rather than the cardboard and plastic bubble, which, although a bit of a pain in the neck sometimes to get in and out, they are better and they do keep the boxes more sturdy. Um, also, another nice little feature is the fact that the clear orange barrel freeze gun mode has actually got like a glitter effect in it, so it does. Although it's difficult to see on the camera, it does sort of glint quite nicely. Um, and that's about it. He's uh, certainly an interesting uh, Transformer and of course one of the main uh, G1 movie characters. Voiced by uh, Leonard Nimoy who obviously did uh, Sentinel Prime in Dark of the Moon. But less said about that, probably the better. And that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed the review and I'll see you again for another Transformers review.